Hey everybody, it's the Ionic Guy again. In today's video, I've got some more accessories from Best EV Mod. I've got their trunk liner, their seatback protectors, and their retractable cargo cover. So, let's get into it. So for the last few weeks, I've been testing Best EV Mod's trunk liner, as well as their seatback protectors. And I gotta say, I really like them. So when I bought my Ionic 5, it did come with a floor protector and the seatback protectors from the factory. And I didn't really wanna pay for them, but I didn't have an option. They're just what came installed from the port. And I gotta say, I do like the look of these a lot more than the OEM version. I like this material that they're making these out of. It's called XPE, and it's kind of rubbery. Uh, it's kind of plasticky. It's made of foam in the center, so it's nice and soft. It's also easy to clean. It's lightweight. So when I did receive this, it was folded into quarters. And all I did was I put this in the trunk. And then I put the existing floor mat on top of this and weighed it down for a few days to take that crease out. And it did a good job at doing that. The crease is no longer noticeable and I gotta say it looks pretty good. The only thing I'm not crazy about, which the OEM floor mat didn't do either, was there's no lip around the front edge here and there's no lip around the back edge. So if you are looking for something that offers water protection and catches mud, water, whatever might be spilled in your trunk area, you might wanna look at a WeatherTech option or a tux mat or any other name brand that still hasn't come out yet. So in that regard, Best EV Mod is doing a great job. They're putting out products before even some of the big name players. And I gotta give them some credit for that. So one of my favorite things about this cargo mat is because this material is kind of grippy and rubbery, if you put boxes back here, or any kind of loosing like a six pack or whatever. It's not gonna slide around all over the place, which is what I experienced with the OEM carpeted floor mat. This thing would just allow, when I would go grocery shopping, if I had boxes or anything back here, I would take a corner and I would just hear it slamming into this side, slamming into that side. Now, maybe that says something about me taking corners a little bit too quickly, but I'm gonna drive how I'm gonna drive. And this has pretty much eliminated that issue because it is textured, it is grippy, and that's my favorite thing about it. So if you're interested in the cargo mat, this is available for $60 at the link below. So working in tandem with the cargo mat is the seatback protectors. They're made of the same high quality XPE material as the cargo mat, and it's a nice matching look. The seatback protectors have flaps here, so if you need to connect a child seat, in the back seat, these can just be lifted up and the seat can be connected. If not, they can just be pushed down and they cover the opening nicely. So there's not a whole lot to say about them. They will keep larger items from shifting in the back here. And all in all, I think they're just a nice look with this patterned material. So with the OEM seatback protectors, there's been many people complaining about in the heat of the summer, the adhesive on these Velcro strips that adhere it to the fabric on the back of the seat. These will give out and they'll find that these are just peeling off the back seat of their, their trunk area. And I haven't experienced that with these ones from Best EV Mod. And it's been brutally hot here. It's been 100 degrees for the last five days here in Connecticut. And it's been pretty miserable, to be honest. So if you're interested in these, they'll be available in the description below for $60. And finally, let's take a look at the cargo cover. So build quality wise, there's not really a whole lot I can knock about it. It's a nice piece of extruded aluminum. Both sides are spring loaded. The material they use looks pretty nice. Got a nice plastic grab handle. Both ends have a layer of felt to protect the plastic from getting scuffed up when you insert it and take it back out. So yeah, I think it's a pretty nice product. It's cheaper than the OEM version from Hyundai, so save yourself a few bucks. Go with the best EV mod version and put that hard-earned cash towards something else. So to install it, all you do, just like with any other cargo cover, 
you're going to tilt it in on one side, push in, push the other side, release both sides, and then it's locked in place and you can pull it forward and cover whatever you have that you want to hide underneath it. And to remove it, I found that it helps to pull the shade forward just a smidge, squeeze that side, then the whole thing comes right out. Operation is really smooth. It's not getting hung up on anything. Goes right into the channels on either side of the cargo area, no problem. And it just retracts. Stays up under its own weight. If you really wanted to utilize this space here in the trunk, you could probably put some lighter items on here and they'd probably be fine. So the cargo cover is available at the link below for only $180 and that's a big savings off Hyundai's version which costs $350. So go ahead and save yourself $170 by getting Best EV Mods version. Seems to be a well built product and I don't see any major issues with it. So what other accessories are you guys waiting for for the Ionic 5? I know I'm still personally waiting for the tux mat interior all-weather floor mats. Just hopefully they come before this coming winter or else I'm gonna find another option. I need something for this winter. I'm not gonna go with just the carpeted floor mats again. But as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.